All right, here we are. I hope you had a lot of fun presenting your big talk from the two or three different camera positions that you might have chose. As you can see, a lot goes into making memorable media. In this lesson, we're going to import the footage you just took and edit together your full body long shot, if you were able to do it. Now, if you couldn't do the full body long shot, then you can place the supplied podium image in front of you to hide the fact that you were only able to record from the waist up. So let's jump on in. So where we left off was pretty much just finishing the background. And so here we are, we've got our background. Now what we want to do is create a new sequence. So I'm going to create a new sequence. I'm choosing to keep it in 1080p, nice and large. We can always scale it down later, but it's more difficult to scale up. Yet if you have a computer that is uh, more challenged than others in speed and power, then maybe exploring just working in 720 as well, which is the lower HD. 480 is standard definition and it's gonna look fuzzy nowadays, so I'd stay away from it. So 1080 it is, and this is going to be my, I'll just call this act three, and this is gonna be my long shot. Okay, so I'm going to drag my background into my long shot. So now my background is nested naturally. I can double click on that, we'll open up into this so I can always make changes. And I'm just gonna close this. The more sequences that you have open, the more processing power it's actually gonna take your computer. A little bit for each one, so keeping that clean is recommended. And here we go, so let's find our footage just bringing the footage you're going to use into a raw folder keeps things nice and organized. And just take a moment to look at what we've got. Okay, so I'm going to bring this first shot in. And it's quite long. So it's a lot longer than our five minutes which tells me there's probably been a couple takes here now that I review. You can see he runs off for a second. All right, so. ...are in information lost their potency since the early 1990s when they were all a rage. Most people are... So what I'm going to do just to speed things up is I'm just going to piece this together and... Yeah, you can see here we were making changes on the fly to the script and carrying through. Which is a natural process. And we just continued to go. Okay. Let's see. Action. What I'm talking about. Right. So therefore, we didn't do it over the entire time. We knew we would be able to just clip and continue. So taking our audio down. Is it this one? No, that one's too short. Sometimes it takes a few times to get it just right. There we go. So what I'm going to do just to speed up the time of this lesson is sync up this audio piece. Then I'm going to edit together this long shot so it looks really good and just the way that I like it. And I'll be back in just a second. Okay, so here I am back with the, uh, the edit. It's, uh, I'd say it's not perfect, but I just wanna quickly point out too that um, when putting this together, you know, I spent countless hours nitpicking at getting all this just right and um, and so I recommend just spending the time that's required to get it to the point that you feel comfortable. Some of these edits aren't 100% the way that I would want them. And, uh, and that's okay too, because we're gonna have another, at least one more video layer to be working with, the close-up shot. And hopefully if you're up for it, let's do the second angle as well. 
So we'll have those shots to kind of soften some of these hard edits. And as you can see, there's quite a few too, you know, when, when I went through this, uh, the shot of Brad's, it was about twice as long as it needed to be. And, you know, there's certain times that he would have to say a certain part of his speech you know, four or five times before getting it right. But we would just carry on and record and it's just easier to edit one long shot than having to go through and stopping, starting again, and then having six or seven different small shots here. At least that's my experience, what I like to do. So we just let the camera roll. He's in front. It's not going to shift anytime you touch the camera. It might shift a little bit. So it's just, yeah, easier to go through and him just going and getting it right. But that's the thing is sometimes you're not standing in the exact same spot. Sometimes your hands are up and they're down. See, his feet are wide and they're, they're not here. So these are things that are going to kind of be dead giveaways that we're editing between a non-live shot when we're trying to create something that looks live. Um, but that's where the other camera shots and angles will help out. And uh, that's a bit of the green screen magic that we're doing. Great. So I figured we'll now take the shot and I'll show you one more time just how I'll go through the process of removing the green screen. So we'll get our ultra key on here. Just choosing that. Coming to the alpha channel. Okay. Transparency, we're going to bring that down, our pedestal up. Boost the tolerance a little bit. How's your shadows? Okay. Come back to the composite. Zoom in a little bit. I'm gonna get rid of this background so I can see a little more clear with the back with the black background what that looks like. So some of the some of the spots that I always find really hard to key out is these little tight spots between the pants, between the arms and between the fingers. And depending on how well lit your shot is, the fabric that you're wearing, these things will either be easier or harder for you. Again, it's just experience in front of the green screen. So we're gonna add some choke. Just a little bit, a little soften. Okay. Contrast a little bit, yeah. Midpoint, it's all working together. And spill su suppression. I'm going to change that luma up, take away that lightness and create a little more of a shadow. Great. Looking good for now. I think so. Okay, so we'll close that down and we will add our crop next. So we'll crop that up. Cut this out. Try to give him enough space. There we go. We invert and we 100% from the left. That should be good. That's good. And let's do some color. So let's bring our background back in. We can scale him into position. Now it's a big stage. I want to make it look like a big stage. It's 
pretty good. I'm going to lift that screen up a little bit. So I'm going to go into my background, come to the projector screen, lift that up a smidge more. So it looks like if I'm a presenter and sitting in the audience, it's not going to block. So I want to give that effect. And whatever I do there is going to be affected into this nest. So you can see there. I can make Brad a little bit bigger. Okay. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Great. Going over to my color. And let's just look here, see what's going on. Basic correction. Well, temperature can be raised up a little bit, just a smidge, maybe a smidge on the tint, just to take away a little bit of that green. Exposure, I'm gonna brighten that up a little bit. Let's see what else can we do. Boost the contrast so you can see the darks get darker, the lights get lighter. Highlights, shadows. Just starting to play around with that, fitting it in. Now this is going to be always different depending on the lighting, the background, your camera versus my camera. Bring that exposure back down. Somewhere between. Come over to creative, like sharpening my images. A little vibrance, a little saturation. 70 and 97%. Now think about it. If colleges and universities had dropout rates like that. Okay, so now let's just say that we're happy with that. And I am. Let's just copy and we can apply all of those effects to the rest of our clips. So I'm going to apply the ultra key, the crop and the limitry color, also the motion as well. So it's going to place it into our scene properly. There we go. And now, there we go. Okay, everything looks consistent and normal gray off to the end. Great. Online education is the future of education. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. I think I'm happy with that, at least enough to carry on. And with this said, if you weren't able to get your feet in the shot, don't worry. This is why we have supplied this podium. And so now we can actually bring this podium into the scene, bring it across. It's actually really big. So we'll go over to our effects, scale that down. And to scale down, if you hold your, your control key, there, then we can kind of place it. History is on the internet. The dropout rate. Now I should say too, when you're in front of a podium and you know you're doing that, don't move around too much. And it could actually be good to even just have something in front of you that you can actually place your arms on as if it was a podium and then just place this podium in front of, of you. So essentially you might even have something standing like a music stand or something to represent that. And then we crop that out. So placing that in front and that might even require a special um, a special mask as well. So you can actually take it and maybe then bring it right down. So if your leg does come out of the scene a little bit, um, that's cropped, then it's not going to be too bad. And it'll be half a leg or something. You can kind of crop that special and yeah. And then we'll carry on from there. All right. So we'll see you in the next lesson.